Hello, I'm Dr. Rajiv Shivshankar. I'm a senior consultant in neuro and peripheral interventional radiology at Fortis Hospital Mullen. Today, I will be speaking to you about a condition called cerebral aneurysms. Now, we all know that aneurysms are structures which are like little bubbles, blood-filled sacs which occur along the course of arteries and sometimes along the course of veins. So, what does this mean? It means that these, these are structures which are not normally seen in individuals, which develop over a period of uh, some time because of certain underlying predisposing factors such as smoking, diabetes, blood pressure, etc. These aneurysms present maybe incidentally, they're picked up because of some other reason, or they could present with headaches, or if they're really large compressive features such as uh, the effects due to compression on the uh, adjacent nerves or vessels. In case of aneurysms rupturing, they can cause a deadly condition called subarachnoid hemorrhage. Now this means that there is an abnormal bleeding in the brain and uh, nearly 50% of individuals may succumb to the effects of this subarachnoid hemorrhage. Hence, it is vital that we treat these ruptured aneurysms in an emergent setting. Now, the other aneurysms we prioritize based on the patient's age, the size of the aneurysm, the location, the morphology, etc. Hence, it's not absolutely mandatory that all aneurysms which are detected have to be treated. We do take into consideration uh, multiple other factors before making this decision. So which of these aneurysms do we take for treatment? We decide on the modality of management of these aneurysms uh, based on the morphology of the aneurysms. For example, if they are sidewall aneurysms, then we may use a, a device such as a specialized tent or a flow diverter. We might use coils. We might use balloons as an adjunct device in case of a certain narrow neck aneurysms or in ruptured setting. And we also have intracycular devices, which we fit within the aneurysm sac. Hence, there are a variety of uh, instruments in our armamentarium, which we can utilize in order to treat these aneurysms safely. And we get excellent results nowadays. Uh, thanks to modern technology, we are able to cure many, many aneurysms and uh, make sure that patients live a very healthy, and uh, aneurysm-free life. Thank you.